So now that we've got a few tracks open in our Pro Tools uh, session, um, we can go ahead and have a look at the input and output settings of each track. Um, so we've got four audio tracks and one master fader here. Um, so I want all of my audio tracks and my master fader to go to mono one and two, the stereo out, which is uh, one and two out of my interface, which will go to my studio monitors. Uh, say for some reason, um, say for some reason, all of those were set to no output and you go to record or uh, listen to something and nothing's coming out. All you have to do is go up to the output, uh, click there, output, mono one and two, and they'll change uh, that track and same thing to the next one. Uh, if you want to do that to all of them at one time to save time, the thing you can do is hold Alt and then click on that one and then output 101 and 2. They'll change, they'll do the same thing to every track that you did to the one. Uh, next, you'll look at um, the input. So I want to record, I'm plugged into channel one of my interface and I'm on audio track one and I want to record on this one so I want to go up here to input interface IP1 which is track uh, track one on my interface or input one on my interface and then record enable and then yep yeah, we've got signal there very good um, say that we were recording the same thing multiple takes and we wanted to use all four tracks uh, one at a time um, I could hold Alt and then go up here to interface and click input one and I'll change everything to input one. So then I've got signal there. Next take, I've got signal there and so on, which is good. Um, the other thing that you can do, say I've got um, a few different mics around the room uh, that are in input one, two, three, and four, and so on. Um, hold Alt, Command, and then go up here while holding those keys and go to input one on the first track. And then that will change the input on the first track to one, and then second track to two, three, and four. So in uh, numeric order. So that saves a lot of time if you've got like 16 tracks or 32 tracks and you've got them in, in order in your Pro Tools session and you want to set the in, uh, the input settings. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it for this one. Um, hope that helps.